damn it, it's fucking you holding me up and I'm trying to be Nicki Minaj. Rich is a bitch in the- We back in here with another first reaction. I don't understand why more people don't drink this delicious beverage. Oh, water drinking head ass nigga. What? Would you care to repeat that, you son of a bitch? <laughs> what? When did drinking water become a bad thing? I thought this shit was supposed to cleanse you. What are you talking about? Isaiah Rashad, Sylvia Demo, so many of you people requested that I do this after I did my The Sun's Tirade reaction video. I really enjoyed that, and I've listened to it about three, four more times, and I swear to God, that might be headed, you know, it, it's, it's, it's neck and neck with Schoolboy's blank face for me. So, it might be the best album I've heard this year. I've listened to it about a couple more times and bruh. But y'all are saying Sylvia's demo is even better. How? 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 Had to get a chair for this one, man. I got a feeling it's gonna be good. Y'all don't understand, when I'm standing there, I'm doing these reaction videos for one to two hours on average. I gotta explain to my legs why they can't sit down for the duration of this bullshit. I gotta explain that shit, not you, me. Then it's the dudes in the comments whose favorite rapper is Lil Yachty telling me, oh man, you bump into the music, ain't nothing even happened yet. I know that, faggle. I know that. But if I'm already up, you expect me to just stand there and just listen to the music with a blank face like, then you got the old dudes who are at least $13,000 behind in child support commenting on the videos talking about, oh, you young niggas don't know nothing about music. Back in my day, bruh, if you don't take your old ass back in the house and go and get this ball head. See, that's the problem. You're talking about music from back in the day. That's also where you left your hairline. If you don't come get this ball head, you 40 now, okay? Get over it. Why are you even watching this video? Go find your kids. Y'all really make my nuts itch, man. Really. Anyway, Isaiah Rashad, Sylvia Demo. I'm about to go blind. These lights are so close. If only you could understand. Let's get right into this. People say this is one of his best projects. It's gonna be the greatest of all time. We about to see. We gonna see. Well, run up when you see me, then we gonna see. Track number one. Hereditary. <laughs> cool first track uh it's got a nice vibe to it I, I guess he's trying to give you an idea maybe what the album is going to be like what he's going to be talking about but that was a nice uh first track track number two webby flow you like i already like it because that sound in the background my dick i know is Man, uh, wow. Okay, okay. Damn. I really don't know what to say about that. That was back to back. Just It was just real shit. Nothing but real. I felt like he was speaking to me. I felt like this was one of my homies talking to me. Okay. Isaiah. Next track, Sylvia Demo. He's definitely got that soul vibe. Throughout both his projects so far, he's definitely got that. Then creeping through the city in that dark ass tent. Mr. Mina on the way, yo. I slide in my rimless bit. That look of what I need from the stuff. She understands her selection and advance her affection. And if you gave me 10 bones, don't sweat it. Don't wild. Be cool from the soul. The rapper goes rapping those. Sometimes I be getting higher than a bitch. Smoking on my nose to the fire. This world is so disgusting. Naked stepping in the swimming pool. Invincible. Women never sue. Get two. I like I like a attitude, I like a flexible She got a baby, do I think she bisexual? <laughs> oh, so I'm probably getting higher than a bitch Smoking on my little That's my favorite one I'm, ah, ah, fuck Oh man, okay, okay, okay Okay, 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 okay Next track, 
Rest in peace, Kevin Miller. You're going to love this. I don't fucking trust it. Somebody stop this magnificent feature of our answer in my ears. I was just about to take a sip of water. Come on, man. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. You can buy a child. You could buy a child. You could buy a child. My ambition was a scheme. I had to stop for all off on the whip. Like a kid in Lollipop on y'all. Be bloody red. Bitch, I feel amazing. It can't be two thousand years later. After that track, um, maybe I don't know. I mean, I guess I should just end it, you know. Uh, Thanks for watching the review, because uh, I don't think there's going to ever be a song that I like better than that. Oh, my f... Ah! Ah! My ch- my ch- my How do I explain how I feel? I can't articulate how I feel into words, so I'ma just- I'ma just make a movement. Pause. Hands down, favorite track of Isaiah Rashad. Oh my god. Well, you know what? I didn't think I was gonna need this, but when in doubt, pause. I feel much better now. Pause. Next track, Ronnie Drake featuring SZA. And then the track after this has SZA on it. So SZA just out here. Finally, I get to take a sip of this. It's just smooth, man. This dude is just smooth. So don't call me a nigga, unless you call me my nigga. I'm a king, O.E. Be slipping, falling from my chalice. Uh, you feel slighted, ay. It's like she know that I got just low my gat on some survival shit. Oh, 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 oh. And, I drought, and I hustle till I'm out of it. Oh. Like I'm in coke flow. Oh, my man. My killers, my killers, my killers, my shakers, my... Away. But if you die today, I hope you find it some relief or what a great escape. Gotta look really tough, gotta keep your hands in the cart. No, you still in stuff. Came up. Oh my god. I got, I got love for my sister, my women, my bitches. My I can't lie, this is literally. From Webby Flow on, it's been nothing but fire. From Webby Flow on, literally nothing but fire. Next track, West Savannah, again featuring SZA. Can you do me a favor and not kill me? Now can we fall in love by Southern Playalistic Banging? But she really do it. At least we fell in love with hey, you. Can you not hear the soul in this song? Alright, that track, I don't know if it was supposed to be an interlude. It uh, wasn't as much going on lyrically. I still really fucked with the song though because it sounded really, really nice. Both SZA and Isaiah had like perfect harmony with one another. So their voices and their verses and what they were saying complemented each other. So I don't really like, I've never seen like two artists work together like better. I've never seen two artists compliment each other more like SZA and Isaiah so far from what I've seen. It's like they compliment each other really well on all the tracks and they make it sound like so surreal and soulful so definitely a really good track next track track number seven soliloquy he was lazy couldn't hit the ground but making babies i'm crazy smoke a bouquet Cop i wonder what they daddy think fuck them this a revolution fuck it fuck them i thought he was about to say fuck them that's irrelevant hanging this guy to rap and no pass in my blood don't you put listen me to the bar listen to the bar words follow me to call this back sipping on that cognac and that jim jones damn that vince vaughn is a funny cat 
think it's possible that your mom won't love you anymore if she sees how bad you're losing in the game? Shut up! Ray Claus and the Kelly up in your closet. Yeah, babes, we just breaking bad. And my brother serving world to white. Hope he ain't caught up with possession. I see you. Why was that track a minute 46 seconds? Oh my fucking goodness. You know when I clicked on it? I just clicked on the title, I didn't look at the length. Pause. Next track, Tranquility. For a shooter, and thank God for the leader. And thank hard for a mess, and hard road for a season. The world gon' see is it's just niggas, they treat lyrics like I hold triggers, like I make difference, then downplay what I'm giving, like I'm no different. Take nines for Jesus, so I figured that the second coming wouldn't never come. I'm feeling the angels, it's liquor to save you. This moment contains. I'm just hoping that she praying while she down on her knees. That hit home because, I mean, one thing that he said that I like, stuff like the media tries to portray rappers as if they have such a high influence on people. So, like, when people do shit, you see shit in the media, and you see it, and you're like, oh, man, you know, and the media tries to make it seem like it's the rapper's fault. Oh, well, this rapper makes this type of music. This rapper makes this type of music. This rapper makes this type of music. And then they make it seem like the rapper has so much influence. But at the same time, they go on to say, oh, these rappers aren't really doing anything. They're just rhyming. They're just putting words together. They're not really doing anything special. It doesn't take any particular talent to rap. So which one is it when you say that people don't have talent enough to spark an influence or change, and then you say they have too much influence to the point where they are, where they are making people do things that they shouldn't be doing? That's, like, like, that's really fucking convenient. To blame somebody for something that you also say takes no talent or skill whatsoever. And at the same time, he also said, uh, if Africa wouldn't want me, why would heaven, basically? It's like, yo, this is, this is some deep thought. This is something that you make when you are in a deep thought. You can't be thinking about this shit on just any random day. You really gotta be thinking about this for a minute to write something like this. He had the perfect little kind of melody going on in the background. So me, I fuck with this, and like I said... I'm not going to give you a fake reaction. If I can't say anything while I'm listening to a song, sometimes I just can't say anything. That was real. I like that track. Uh, next track, we got Menthol featuring John Dex. Hey, I'm, I'm only giving it one attempt. If I don't get your name right, fuck it. She's so fuckable, and she got the menthol. And told you, bro, 10 ounces, one verse is like an eight ball. Look, I seen it crystal clear. I see these oh. niggas think I give a fuck. I can drink a beat, motherfucker, yeah. Oh. Baby, oh my, getting fed and I can fuck oh. all night. Y'all too busy popping molly, you can die all night. My favorite oh. rapper about dyke, I know. Oh. We got modest. Hey, hey. Modest, I be in the end of you. Some of the players I play it on this dick. I see you waiting. Wait, baby, cuz I'm too young and wild to be the savior. Now, me who in DG Olis? Hey, who on it? The haters give me down this way. Nigga, catch you at the top. I can see more than the black. Oh, see what niggas rarely give you what you need. Niggas rarely give you what you need. Hell yeah. Bitch, I keep you right here with the go. I gotta go. I gotta baby stuck in Babylon. Niggas carry bombs and carry rain. You go back and pay your bill. You can't buy no diapers for your little one. Don't you pay for thrill. Child support it like a chick. Niggas, stop. I get it. Okay. You the joke. These two kind of bitches know they play. That's my second home. This is my favorite rap. You dead ain't enough. You gotta live. Modest, one of the favorites on this album. So far, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of ten tracks I've heard that are my favorite. And I can't even count the first track because I was just an intro. Ever you are trying to prove, you proved your point, okay? I get it. You are the GOAT. Chill. Heavenly Father. Everybody telling me a lie. Oh, but they give me something for my soul. Oh, see you. If I get my story to the world, I wonder if they book me for a show. Bitches ain't shit, and pussy is my greatest vice. I love smoking weed. I hate advice. I know some men from a long line of bitch made and bridesmen. 
I know that I rhyme tight. No need for your two cents. And burning your blueprints. These people think I really give a fuck about the shit they give a fuck about. Just need a moment of silence. Just close your fucking mouth. <laughs> Something is wrong with this man, okay? This has never happened, man. Like, I. I really don't want to continue doing this reaction because I don't want the album to end. Track number 12, Banana. Why does it sound familiar? Had to give it a tongue, this shit might open the door. It might open the door. Got way my sister at home. When I get straight, my sister get flown. Coming up for blow checks, save a little penny. I'm too young for some big money. Ooh, come girl, get some dick from it. My job needs a piss from it. Little bro, can you fuck with me? I don't see nothing this perfect. Details, came back with a bitch in his left son. I guess he forgot that he left side. If you're my left nut, most niggas can't fuck with my first shirt. You niggas oh. be my purses See that oh. don't think that I'm We know Damn. that I'm that Sick kids if you ask me I He's wrote in still the business going. and passed it Them vices they still going. Going. Me, bro, we don't be Number 13, Brad Jordan featuring Michael Da Vinci. Now, it's Jimmy, my nigga, Mike D. Uh, did he just say it's Jimmy? I was a master before. My mama told me we no accepting any memberships. No acting losses. Damn, I got a sonny on the way. But then my baby, I be. Goddamn, my man, feel like I'm Brad Jordan. Oh. And in tennis, where your crown in your pocket. Oh. All that shit'll come Dude, out your blow is unreal. For my Eastside nigga, women who be faithful. I feel like dropping classes uh, Like the rough rappers be too passive uh, A bunch of buses, I'm on everybody ass That's the real estate, man the Oh my god, they way too passive nowadays Way too passive Unfortunately, we're coming up on the final track of this album, this amazing body of work I'm telling y'all right now, out of all the reaction videos I've done, this is the best album I've listened to out of every single reaction video I've ever done. Album wise, this is the best one I've listened to. Last track, Shot You Down featuring, oh my fucking goodness, they got J-Rock and Schoolboy Q with Isaiah Rashad, are you serious? And it's seven minutes long. I take a drag at the square. I feel anxious, bit dangerous. It's a verbal appeal. No, no, it's no, I'm good. no, 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 Big no, no, no. Feel. They ain't poppin' shots. These niggas is poppin' shots. Fine, that's the shine. Beat me up in a ride spot. Ooh. No crime. Probably fuckin' on the friend. Probably L.A. Yeah. Probably plotting on the meal. We don't play that. Mama Ooh. told me that I don't count. They ain't worried about this chunder. Them niggas just got diving in my room. Ooh. Probably not no chill. Chillin'. Cause they'll bring a knife to the fight and not kill me. Me My battery died almost while I was in the middle of this, but the camera stopped. They don't want me to finish this reaction, but I'm gonna do it anyway. She young nigga trying to get some hundreds. I had a little bucket. Yeah, I wrote it. And only time will tell what's gonna lie for you. It's funny, right? What I keep shooters on the wing when I'm riding through. And the pigs on my ass, hoes trying to drown me. Niggas know I'm up, so these haters wanna down me. A real nigga for real nigga, not check it. I'm still here, I'm still counting my blessings. Not a dollar only oh. from invasion of payday. Yeah. Two time fishing. Yeah. I live in room, yeah. bathroom, my bedroom was evicted. Yeah. Miss oh. Rick, you see the don't make too many niggas just trying to get paid. I'm yeah. not answering questions why I see more on delay. You know, November, but January is sweet. It set my setbacks free. My habits yeah. one in my sleep. So <laughs> January, Yo, this yeah. fucking track. Oh my god. Oh. Rock, rock, kilo. Oh. Fish scale cut well, you won't find me. Oh boy. boy. I came, I saw, I cut, cut. I yeah, see yo, it's, it's, it's over, it, it's over. I started drinking when my water was right here and I've only drunk this much. That lets you know how little time I was given to come away from this beautiful body of work to drink some water. First off, let me just start by saying this is probably 
the best review to an album I've ever done. This album, and I'm, I'm really stretching it when I say this, but this album, in my opinion, is a classic album. This shit you can listen to from start to finish. It's a cohesive idea. I know I've said this in the past about his project, but you cannot listen to this dude and not feel anything. You cannot listen to Isaiah Rashad and feel nothing. And the fact that this shit is two years old here, I know I'm just not listening to it, but it feels like if Isaiah Rashad would have released this this year, it would have been over for every other rap album. Only reason I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10, the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because I can see how some people may dislike the style of old music, old style rap that he might do occasionally. I mean like, as far as beats are concerned, like he has this old soulful type of vibe and he's not a turn up trap rapper like most people like. That's the only reason I'm not gonna give him a 10 out of 10. That's the only reason, bruh. He doesn't need the production. He's in there and he does his thing, man. Like this dude is literally crazy. If he would release this this year, it would have been over for every other rapper, including Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah Rashad would have beat himself. Sylvia's demo would have came up and been like, hey, son's tirade, it's my time. He literally would have beat himself. Um, a lot of you guys are right, you know. I really do like this, and I do think it's better than the Sun's tirade, but, you know, the first is always the best. It's, it's just like the Lion King. Nothing can ever replace the original. The first Lion King was the greatest of all time. The second one that came out, it was still okay, but it wasn't as good. Not saying the Sun's tirade isn't good, it's just, when you listen to this, it just sets the bar way too high. Lyrically, he was on point. I didn't have a problem with any of the bars he spit in this entire project, and that's rare because there's usually a cringe-worthy bar that a rapper spits every now and again with one of his songs. Isaiah Rashad is strong from start to finish. Production, I love the old school vibe. If you guys have ever watched Samurai Shampoo, then you know the old hip-hop soulful music they would play during the fight scenes. <laughs> It reminded me so much of that, like that old, old, old anime feel. Like, I don't know if you guys understand, but this shit hit home for me. This was only a 14 track album. The last track, one of my favorites. Brad Jordan, love that one. Banana, love that one. Tranquility, amazing. Ronnie Drake, R.I.P. Kevin Miller, Sylvia Demo, Webby Flow. What was this dude on? What was he smoking to where he could come up with something like this? This gets a 9.5 out of 10 hands down the best album i've ever reviewed like i said i've only said this about a couple albums uh one was to pimp a butterfly this these are classic albums man they really are these are classic albums and i really don't see anything if he keeps going and people start to notice him more i really don't see anybody getting in his way i really don't this dude has an amazing sound he sounds completely original and it's him it's his own style, it's his own thing, it's just, it's just him, man. As a rapper, lyricist, I don't know what Top was doing when he found these people. To find people like Kendrick, J-Rock, Schoolboy, Isaiah, Abso, like, how do you find these dudes, man? How, where did you find them? You must have went to another planet to get these dudes. And thank you guys for telling me to listen to this, because I'm going to be bumping this back to back. I, there was no problem with this project to me. None whatsoever. It's rare that I walk away from a project with... How many How many of these are my favorite? Let's count them off. Tracks 1 through 5, Straight Fire. 7, Soliloquy. 8, Tranquility. That's sick. And then from 12 to 14. That's 9 out of 14 tracks that I would listen to these songs back to back. No issue. That is insane. I want to thank Isaiah Rashad for even having the balls and the courage to come out and talk about things that are on his mind. The idea behind this project was actually mentioned in the beginning, which was pretty much everybody. This is, there's nobody that should not listen to this album, basically is what he was trying to say in the beginning. Even the cover art was so humble to see because it lets you know this dude had other names for this project. He crossed them out and decided to call it Sylvia Demo. Like, the fact that the dude is just so real and open about himself is just, it makes you like him that much more. Like I said, 9.5 out of 10. Best project I've listened to on this channel. I really want something else to top this, but I don't see it coming in the near future. I honestly don't. And, you know, it sucks, but 
Hey, that's the way it is. I'm really glad I got to listen to this. Thank you for recommending it to me. I will see you in the next one. Subscribe, like the video, all that good shit if you did enjoy, and I will see you next time. Oh my God. See, now sitting has its side effects too, because when I get up, my ass is sore. Pause.